Corporal Merrick. Are you awake? No, no, don't struggle. You see, we had to remove your brain. Brain? Oh, don't worry, we put it back almost exactly where we found it. Although, when you're a little more lucid, we will need you to sign a few waivers. Waiver? Try not to speak. You're not used to that new vampire mouth, and you might hurt yourself. Vampire? Yes, vampire. You see, it turns out the vampire body is perfect for mechanical implants. There's no rejection, you see. Mechanical implants? Ah, yes. You see, the army was very keen on developing a cyborg soldier, but here's the rub of it. The volunteers kept dying due to implant rejection. But you, my undead friend, won't be having that problem. You fucker! Ah, I know what you're thinking. You're an evil, evil being and you don't have to do a thing we tell you. You'll just up and run amok at the soonest opportunity. But we've thought of that. You see, the other wonderful property of vampires is that they assume the powers of whatever blood they consume. And you, my friend, will be constantly drip-fed the blood of a very obedient poodle. Now, let me just hook up the IV. What's that? The alarm? Hang on for just a second, won't you? <laughs> I've got to obey. No, I've got to get out of here. There's a bunch of machines in this room. I can do. Looks like a control panel of some. There's a big freaking laser up there. Uh, get me out first! It looks like an obedient sack of fluff. With the restraints around me, I can't reach the damn thing. I look like a freaking bionic vampire! If I struggle, my vampire heart can force the blood back up the tube. If I really struggle, I can force my own vampire blood up into the poodle. I didn't see that coming. Fortunately, the loss of blood has emaciated me and I can now wriggle my mechanical arm free to snap these bonds. Now to get out of this place, I must hurry before they notice I'm loose. There is a bright flashing digital lock in the middle of the door. Oh, I cannot pass beneath that it's a vampire. Thing. It looks like a regular... I'm going to take this cheetah blood in case it comes in hand. I might be able to use this carrot. Oh, I cannot pass. It's a va <sighs> A crucifix! A vampire cannot pass beneath one nor inflict any damage to it whatsoever. Vampires cannot walk beneath cru- I'll take the magnets, but I don't know why. These magnets might solve my crucifix problem. There, it's not a crucifix anymore, just an everyday letter T. The door won't budge. I'm going to have to blast the lock out somehow. Looks like a con- Blast! Ultraviolet light! Vampires don't have sufficient skin pigment to handle UV. How am I going to get by this? Oh! Uh, ultraviolet light! Vampires do not-
my mom always said that if I ate too many carrots, I'd turn orange. Hmm. The. Hello. What? Walter? Slow down. Walter, I can't. Will you calm down, you asthmatic lunatic? That's better. Now, explain to me. Escaped? How did that happen? Dear God, man, can't you keep it in your pants for five seconds? Well, I'm not going to worry too much. I'm sure one of your toy robots isn't going to give me any trouble, even if it is piloted by a pair of vampire twins. I'm perfectly safe inside. No, that isn't an alarm you can hear. That's just the, uh, the microwave. I'm having a baked potato. Yes, they are better done in the oven, but... Look, Walter, I'm a busy man. Yes, I'll let you know if I see them, but really I have better things to do. Yes, goodbye, Walter. Grad students. Give them a chemistry set and a brain in a jar, and suddenly they think they're Victor Frankenstein. Attention, all guards. This is not a drill. Execute giant robot defense plan alpha immediately. I repeat, this is not a drill. And someone turn that damn alarm off. Ah, oh, sunlight! How am I going to get across? Have you got any idea how many volts run through there? No way. It's a power box. Must mean that fence overhead is charged. There's a guard up on the catwalk. I gotta take him out if I'm going to make it across the yard. He's way out of... There's an umbrella up there. I guess the weather can turn quick. Have you got so I Did you see my new bonsai experiment? I was too busy considering why that broken probe wouldn't work. This looks like some sort of robot lab. Maybe I can find some stuff here that could help me escape. I've got to hurry though. The guards might notice that I'm loose at any moment. It's a ginger-haired scientist. Kinda scrawny looking. It's a little brainy science guy. I now temporarily know some trivial scientific facts. For instance, pine cones have evolved to survive forest fires, and a solar-powered probe needs sunlight or it won't function. That's brilliant! I was wondering why that robot probe wouldn't work. Holy crap! The VCU is at large! Down, boy! Down! There's a bunch of computery looking things here. I'm not here to email my mom. I'm here to get stuff that will help me escape. A pine cone, fruit of the taiga. It's a miniature pine tree. I will take said pine cone. No way, that broom he's waving looks like it has mouse poop stuck to the bristles. Stay back, you mean thing! Besides, I don't think he's getting down from there for a long time. I'm not here. That glass looks too thick to smash. It looks like a giant glass bulb. I see a bunch of science junk. Nothing useful for escaping. It's just a bunch of science junk. I need useful stuff right now. A robotic probe lies on the floor. Come to daddy probe. It's just... I'll take a load off when I'm off this crazy base. It looks like a filing cabinet. I'm not going through their paperwork. A lonely banana sits wistfully upon the file cabinet. 
that banana might come in handy. He's way out of reach. It's kinda... More guards. Fortunately, they are distracted by something going on behind that door. I've got to take them out if I'm going to make good my escape. It looks like the control valve for the gas main. That's way too... That might be possible if not for the security fencing and the fact that the probe is solar powered. I feel a little dirty. Ca Bulletproof glass. Ca That cheetah blood has enabled me to move fast, if only temporarily. Oh my, that was a good vintage. Hmm, taste disciplined. Those guards were easy pickings. It's going to be a cakewalk getting out of here. What the? Hey, lover boy, did you miss us? We're here to rescue you. Holy vampire twins! I'd forgotten all about. Uh, I mean, uh, hey, babe. <gasps> Dave, all at him. Oh my, this won't do. Won't do at all. Oh, all this mechanical stuff? It's cool, baby. I'm still the same on the inside. Well... What my sister is trying to say is that... Since your vampire purity has been compromised... We're going to have to obliterate you! You got there in the end, sis. Thanks! Now it's time to die. Cybox, come! Any last words? Lover boy? Mm -hmm. Bulletproof glass can't be rescued. Oh! Don't forget about the sun scorching rays, sweetie. I'll try not to. Seriously, say your last words so we can blast you already. There is a cloud of gas gushing from the ruptured gas. It is time to die. But I'm still trying to think of my last words. But you're taking too long. Come on, just give me a couple more seconds. Well, okay. But just a few more. Fine. The sign reads, DANGER! Extremely flammable. If I suck the blood of this cockroach, it just might make me imperable to the apocalypse. Here goes nothing. Ew. It is time to die. What? Just like that? Couldn't you give me a warning shot or something? Very well. We will fire one shot into the air, and then we will annihilate you. Cool.
was that? I think something exploded inside the base. It's a good thing this robot destructor unit actually was invincible. Well, it wasn't pretty, but at least that traitor Merrick was incinerated in the blast. Yes, good riddance to that scum. So, what do we do now that we've killed our vampire boy toy? Hey, you could always make another one. Awesome idea, sis. Son of a bitch! That base cost eight billion dollars to build and equip. Well, at least that traitor Merrick was incinerated in a blast. Come on, boys, let's get some beer and go watch reruns of MASH. You alright there, little buddy? You still look a little pale. So numb, so cold. Well, at least the villainous VCU is destroyed. The vacuum containment utility? No, the vampire cyborg unit. Not necessarily. If he was able to drink the blood of a cockroach, well known to have the ability to survive nuclear winter. Your lightheadedness is giving you delusions, my boy. No one could have survived that blast. But... Let's get back to my place and play some classic text adventures on my old Amiga system. REVENGE! <laughs>